Good day. Welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Andrew Brooks. Procon can form an integral part of your building information management strategy. Several options are available for sharing analysis models with other software. This video will give some tips on how to use the SimSteel integration standard in Frame. In this video, I will use a slightly modified Frame example and export the data as an STP file which will be loaded into Autodesk's Robot Structural Analysis program. To export a frame file, we need to click the Frame Application button and scroll down to Export. From the Export menu option, we have a few choices. The first is used to export a file format that can be loaded into Revit using Prodesk. We will, however, focus on the last option, the CIS-2 File Export option. If we export the file without further considerations, we will be told that errors were encountered. The log file explains where the errors were found. The log file briefly shows the steps that were followed when the export was done. The important part here is highlighted. The process found the Procon section names, but these sections aren't mapped correctly. A default value is therefore used. What we need to do is to tell the program what section name must be used to replace the Procon section name, because the third party program doesn't necessarily understand the section names that Procon uses. If we load this incorrect file into Robot, we will receive warnings, most notably the warning that there are unrecognized sections. If we ignore the unrecognized sections, the analytical line is correctly loaded into Robot. Some of the sections are identified by the default section name that was used, but we can do better. Here is a Robot file containing five beam elements. Each of the beams consists of a section that is used in my small tower example in frame. The section properties show that Robot expects a certain name for each section, and the names don't correspond with the Procon names. We can now note what names are expected and map these names to the Procon names. When mapping the sections, we must remember to be case sensitive and to include spaces. Back in frame, in the export window, we can do the section mapping by clicking the Edit Naming Standards button. You will notice that there is no Autodesk Robot column but we can rename the column headings by clicking on the name and typing in a new one. We need to now type in the robot section names that correspond to the Procon section names that we have used in this model. We can automate this process somewhat by adding a prefix or a suffix to the existing Procon name and then clicking the button in the middle. This, however, won't work for the IPE sections, so we'll have to adjust these entered values manually. We need to make sure that the correct naming standard is selected, and now we can export the information to the new step file. When the new generated file is loaded into Robot, we won't have the same warning messages as before. Instead, the full model with the correct sections have been loaded. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications.